Hey, what's up guys? How you all doing? Now, we've had some good times with vacuum, some really, really good times, but how do you say goodbye to something that you've spent so much time with? I know. Okay, just one time. Yeah, that's it. Woo! So in today's video, we're taking a look at the new Gazelle Machete or Machete. But before that, I wanted to quickly talk about this latest update, which was called the Vacuum Within. Now, it's always good to have a sense of humor while your house is on fire and burning down around you, right? It's not like the Warframe community is bleeding away through lack of things to do and year long promises about major content or constant changes to items that they've put multiple form on and hours into getting right only for those items to be nerfed. But I guess in digital extremes eyes, the best thing to do to an already angry community is make them angrier. We've heard your cries, we know that the community really wanted a universal vacuum for their companions, so let's give it to them. But wait, there's more. Let's nerf the living shit out of it while we're at it. Oh, what's that? You wanna get that mod that's glitched out behind that wall? Well, tough shit, mister, because your vacuum can no longer reach it, and we have no intention of fixing that glitch either. But here's a new weapon to misdirect your attention away from that vacuum nerf. I mean, nerfing vacuum literally makes no sense whatsoever. Why do it? Why do it when your community is so fucking angry about the war within being constantly put back? Why make them even angrier? Did they nerf it to hopefully help increase the grind to get players to run more missions because they need more resources that they forgot on the mission before that and to keep them playing the game? I mean, it just feels like an incredibly stupid thing to do. Hopefully you guys watching this video all know what I'm talking about. Sorry if I'm not like, I guess, maybe some of the other content creators and kissing Canadian ass right now and saying that the update is amazing because it's fucking not. I'm incredibly fed up. Full transparency, they asked us a little while ago to make a video to promote how to prepare for the war within, which was basically just look fucking good. And this was probably to continue to build the hype for the update, which led us to believe that the update for the war within was going to be really soon. And then they continue to push it back. So right now I'm getting a ton of blowback and hate and abuse, which I probably deserve for making that video, but I thought the update was soon and I guess I fell into that trap. So yes, I'm annoyed. To be honest, if you really want to prepare for the war within, play a different game for six months. Job done. But anyway, I apologize, enough ranting. Let's talk about the new Gazelle Machete. You can research this weapon in the Tenno Lab of your clan, Dojo. It's a slash based weapon that deals 52 base damage, most of this being slash damage, and it's the highest damage dealing machete in the game right now, which wouldn't really be hard since the rest of them are shit. Rhino swinging his crotch would probably yield higher damage numbers than most of the machetes in the game. But the nice new feature of the Gazelle Machete is its synergy with the Jin Sentinel. While you have the Jin equipped, each kill from the Gazelle will increase the corrosive damage of the Jin's Fatal Attraction. And in turn, each Fatal Attraction cast will give the Gazelle bonus corrosive damage as well for a short period. So it's kind of a tit for tat. Both the Jin and the Gazelle are constantly buffing each other. But is it enough? Would it make you put down your current favorite melee weapons? Probably not, but it is a nice concept and I would love to see more synergy between weapons and uh, either frames or companions in future updates. Now the Gazelle is still pretty much a mid-tier weapon that deals a nice amount of stagger. It has a decent 10% crit chance and a 25% status chance. Running with Weeping Wounds is a really nice option for the Gazelle because of that base status chance. It also has a nice quick charge attack, which I really enjoyed using however, like I said, it's a machete and all machetes in the game right now are pretty much mastery fodder and for me, that's all this is as well, it's mastery fodder. It's good looking mastery fodder because I like its actual appearance, probably the best looking machete we have now, but it's still mastery fodder. By all means, let me know in the comment section below what you think of the latest update, everything about it. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching.